this is how an embryo looks like okay so you have um, something this is how you are when you are a baby okay when you this is how you are born like born first and then your head develops and then your hand develops then your body then your feet okay so the, you are a fetus first and then you are a baby okay fetus is something that is smaller than a baby this fetus only develops into a baby okay similarly this embryo is like a fetus this embryo is only being developed into a seed okay so embryo is something that is inside the seed okay it's inside the seed so this embryo has a outer coat okay inside this no here only all the proteins nutrients everything that you provide for the plant is inside this only okay so this outer portion is the seed coat okay it's like protective layer when you're going out you wear a dress why to protect you right so this is like a dress for the seed it's called a seed coat okay ma'am i have a doubt yes ma'am once can you scroll it up Ma'am, you said that first that little dot, dot nothing but the fetus. First, it develops the hair. Then, how can the baby be alive if if he doesn't, he or she doesn't have any heart? I don't understand your question. Ma'am, first, uh, first the fetus develop the uh, head, right? So no, it doesn't develop the head. This is just a small depiction for you to show. I'm just trying to tell you that from the fetus only you're getting the baby. The head is not the first part that develops. Okay, it is. It is first the nervous system is what develops. Nervous system means all your cells. Okay, now when you're touching something hot, you're able. It's your. Uh, you're feeling the heat. You're feeling the cold, and someone's hitting you. You're feeling the pain. So all this is con like controlled by the system called the nervous system. The nervous system and the brain only develops first. So you can't tell the baby is alive or not. After that, only the heart will develop, and then only the rest of the body will develop. Until then, it is the cells are only growing. The baby is not to life yet. Okay, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. Coming back to the seed. So then, this is the seed coat. Okay. Now, you know when a baby is born, there is like something, like a cord that is attached to your mother's womb. This is your mother's womb. Okay, which is coming out of the mother's womb. Like this wired flesh is there. This is cut when you are born. Similarly, this is like a wire for the plant. Okay. This is called as the radical. Okay. the rad from the radical only you will have the whole plant emerge so the first part that emerges is called the hypocotyl from the hypocotyl the epicotyl comes out so remember the parts it's radical hypocotyl and epicotyl okay so you will have the cotyledon radical hypocotyl epicotyl like that it goes okay so single one is called a cotyledon two are called cotyledons you know singular plural okay so all this is called a plant embryo am i clear i got this doubt because you mm -hmm. first you wrote this uh, question in that uh, in previous class and you Uh, you said example like leaf like that. You said that's why I got this doubt, ma'am. Example leaf in the sense. Can you elaborate what exactly I said? Ma'am, you said that the gray, leaves will be green like that. You said it will be example like that. You have to write like that. You said. So I thought that is what the homework is. That so I got that doubt. Okay, okay. Because rest of the students, they all did the homework. They understood. So once you don't understand, you should always come and ask me. Okay. So I can tell you, I can call you, or I can text you and explain it to you better. Okay. So next time you have doubt, don't just leave it like that. Please come and tell me, ma'am. I don't understand the homework. 
I'll explain it to you. All right. My clear direction. Yes. Okay. Fine. I hope. Is it clear now, Darakeshwaran? Is this whole part clear? You want me to explain again? Okay, so write this as a homework, and I want you to send it to me by today or tomorrow. Okay, and this lesson is what you will have as your test, guys. Okay, for test you will be having this lesson. Tomorrow's test. Okay, so please study it thoroughly. Refer from your textbook and from the notes. And from the lecture and from your homework, okay. This is some. This is all revision for the rest of y'all. So I want you to score full mark, okay. All right. So, ma'am, for the test, how many questions will you give? Fifteen. Ten to fifteen questions, okay. Ma'am, are you giving MCQ or fill in the blanks? It's all mixed up as usual. Do I give always MCQ or fill in the blanks? I always give mixed up only, no. Like that only it will be. Okay. Okay. Do any of y'all have any doubts in this lesson? You want to go through this page once? Please go through. Once you have gone through it, please tell me you are done. I'll go to the next page. If there's any doubt, tell me. Um, okay, take all the time that you want because I won't be coming back to this lesson again. This is for everybody. Tarakeshwar and you also. Go through the page. Any doubt, please ask me right now. Only then I can go to the next lesson. One minute, please. Ma'am, I have a doubt. Yes, Advika. Ma'am, for the first day, so there will be small dots, right? So, Sorry, um, you are you... potato. Yes, ma'am, there will be many small dots. Yeah. Ma'am, so I am confusing that it is called as mud or eye. It is called an eye, not a bud. This eye, you know, from this eye of a potato, and I'm drawing, just see one minute. You have a potato over here, okay? So you will have like this black, black dots over here. This is yes, called yes. an eye, okay? So once you provide this eye with enough water supply, uh, enough sunlight, and you bury it in a soil, or you leave it in a good uh, room temperature, from here, a small bud will start developing. This is called a bud. Got it? Mom, that uh, I'll feel it like you and I'll cut it off. <laughs> yeah, but actually you can grow it. It's just, it's not rotten or anything. It's just a part of the plant that can grow into another plant. That's it. Mom, I feel it too. Why? Because when my mother was the potato and then it will be like that and when we will peel the layer of it and when I will remove the layer it will be all like uh, yeah it will be there it's the nature of the potato okay anyways rest of y'all please go through the page rest of y'all please go through the page if there's any doubt ask me I'll go to the next page once you're done Deepika, did you send me your homework? Deepika? Uh, can you repeat, ma'am? Did you send me your homework? Um, no, ma'am, I'll send it. Yeah, send it to me immediately. Advika, I want your homework once you're home. I want it before 10 o'clock today. Uh, okay, ma'am. Can I send it tomorrow because today I'm going out? Yeah, okay. These guys, last warning for those who haven't done your homework. I'm not going to encourage this habit again. Because I understand alternate days is what I was taking tuition for y'all. It was difficult. But now it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of time for y'all. 
It's literally three whole days. I don't know what you guys did during that time. And also, from next week onwards, your science class will be held on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Tell me, da. I'm actually in my textbook. There is no lesson called food. Where where does it comes from? Okay, what book do you have? Sorry. Let me see. Yeah. What is the name of the textbook, please see? Um, I think the board will be changed. No, this lesson is not omitted. This lesson is there. I'm I'm twenty twenty two. Is it NCERT? Yes, I am NCERT only. I am also K only. Okay. What is the first lesson that is there for you? Components of food. Components of food. All right. Refer the notes and refer what I taught you. Okay, for now. Okay, and also let me know uh, what do you have after components of food? Sorting materials to into groups. Okay, this is twenty twenty two book. No. Okay, fine. I'll check on it. For now, you refer the notes that I've given you. Can you scroll the next page? Okay, all of you all. Can I scroll the next page? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Anybody who wants to stay in this page? Now I got a doubt regarding the plant. Mm -hmm. Now I'm like, uh, if there is a plant, if we we'll pull a leaf, a, a green leaf. Uh, so still, will it be alive? Yeah, definitely. Okay, ma'am. Tell me when you're done, guys. Now I have a doubt regarding to result. Actually, mm -hmm. my mother was dusting last year, so uh, I. So a lizard came, and by mistake, she uh, she got hurt by the broom, and the tail of it got broken. But still, if she was moving, the tail was very far of it, and she she can move it, but tail. How can it be possible? Okay, so there are certain uh, amphibians. Okay. Oh, first, let me, let me not go to that part. Let everybody finish going through this page. Then we clear it out. Okay? okay let's, not disturb, let's not disturb others going through it. Mom, I'm done. I should. Okay. Mom, can I rejoin? Yeah, sure.
to go to the next page? No, that's it. This is the page that is left. All of you are all done or you need more time? Okay, anybody uh, who's not done yet? Anybody who's not done? Tarakeshwaran, Aishwarya, all done. Can I go? Yes, ma'am. Deepika, can I go to the next unit? I can't hear you, but I hope you're done with this. Anyways, uh, so yes, next... I go. okay, fine. So coming to the doubt, whatever Adhika asked. So why does a lizard's tail move when it is cut? So basically, a lizard is gifted with this um, uh, ability of moving its tail even if it's cut. Why it is because, you know, the whole body, be it any living organism, the whole body has um, oxygen supply, right? So this part of the tail when it's cut, there is certain amount of oxygen that is there in the tail, okay? And there are certain muscles that still work with the supply of oxygen. So this lizard has the ability uh, where its tail moves after it is cut because there will be other predators like be it another, uh, be it a frog or be it a bird that would actually eat up a lizard, right? So when a lizard is moving, they won't disturb it. They will think that the lizard is dead only then there will be some frogs or some animals coming to catch it. So when they actually see the tail moving, they will think that the animal is alive. And that little amount of time, one or two minutes that fools the other predators will be enough for the actual lizard to escape. So when you're actually cutting the tail of the lizard, the lizard doesn't die. The lizard is still alive. The lizard will move away. Okay. Now, this is the lizard's body. Okay. For example, this is the tail portion. This is the body portion. Now, if you're cutting a little bit above, then yeah. That means the lizard is dead because you cut a part of the body. But you're cutting exactly the tail part only. The lizard has the ability to regrow its full tail. Within a week or two, the lizard will regrow its full tail. The tail will grow again. It has that ability. Okay, Advika, am I clear? Have I cleared it out? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, in a facts video, I also saw that starfish also can grow its... Uh, hands when it's cut, it uh, yes. also can grow. Yes, starfish. So starfishes also they have the ability to regrow their whole limbs. So you cut this, they can regrow the, the limb again. Okay, it's called a limb. Mama, I this. Starfish. Yeah, it's hard. No hard surface it has. Mom, it will have something. Some hard pimple step thing. That is the texture of the skin. Let's not go to that. We're talking about food right now. So let's finish what we're actually meant to learn. Okay. I'll uh, open the next chapter. Um, in my school, they completed the chapter two, food, food and its components. Mm -hmm. Now, yesterday they completed the chapter, food and its components. Okay. And then they they started the chapter sorting materials into groups today. Okay, 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 fine. Anyways, I already took this chapter for you earlier itself. No, this is again another recap. So I hope you remember whatever I taught you in this. I even took for you in special class also. You remember the points I taught you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Uh, fine. Let's get back to the lesson. So we first saw 
the sources of food in the first lesson okay we saw from where we are getting food and everything okay so now just give me one minute guys i'm getting an important call Sorry guys. Okay, so first we saw the different sources from where we are getting food. Okay, now we are going to say what is there. Now this is from where we are getting the food. Okay, that's what we saw. Now we are going to see what is inside this food. So components of food. So anything that describes about what is actually inside a particular substance or a thing is called a component. Now I am having a, a cake. So what are the components of cake? you have egg you have maida you have milk you have butter you have baking soda you have all the substance that is put into the cake in order to make a nice cake right so these are the components of the cake now air simply telling i breathe in air but you are not breathing in air you are breathing in only oxygen because in air you have carbon dioxide hydrogen nitrogen all pollution is there smoke is there so all these are components of the air okay now take a sandwich in a sandwich there is a bread there is chicken there is tomato so all these are components of the sandwich okay yeah bro bro i'm taking class bro one minute please Extremely sorry, all of you. Okay. Um, I hope what the introduction what I've given is clear to all of you. So now you have an idea of what the component means, right? So, um, Deepika, can you tell me what is the meaning of components? Deepika. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you're audible. Ma'am, components, according to me, basically are um, ingredients or nutrients. Nutrients. Okay, so ingredients. Okay. In general, don't say nutrients because I didn't ask components of food. I asked you only what is components. So if I'm asking you what is components, I want you to answer it as yes, they are ingredients or any all the things that make up the whole substance. Okay. So here. The one that makes up the sandwiches, bread, chicken, tomato, mayo, cucumber, so all these are the components or all these are the ingredients. Okay. Now, inside this food, there are so many other components such as proteins, calcium, vitamin. So, mainly there are five important components that is com inside different types of foods. That is carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals. I'm repeating again. Carbohydrates. Proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals. These are the five important nutrients that is present inside the food. So components of food are nothing but nutrients. Nutrients are substances that provide you with nutrition. Okay. Nutrition is the ability of you human beings to work and exhibit energy so you're able to show that you have energy or you're able to do a particular work it's because you have nutrition in your body 
Am I clear? So a nutrition is something that makes you live. Okay, without nutrition, you won't be able to survive. So this nutrition is provided by the nutrients. So the definition is taking in and the use of food is called nutrition. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So this is the general definition of what nutrition is. Why I'm stressing upon this is I might ask any question because since I'm teaching you half of this lesson today, this will also be included in your tomorrow's test. So please concentrate and ask me any doubts if you have. I want you all to score well in tomorrow's test. So these nutrients are the components of food that provides you with nutrition. Nutrition is the taking in and the use of food Nutrients are of five categories, that is carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Okay, I hope it is clear. First, let's talk about what is carbohydrates. So, carbohydrates are present mostly as starch. Okay, now you know that you uh, have food in your body that gives you all the energy or provides you with all the nutrition. Okay, most of the food products that we get are from plants and animals, you know that. Okay, now let's talk about the plants. Okay, these plants, you know that, which part of the plant is called the kitchen of the plant? Leaves. Leaves, very good. So the leaves are called the kitchen of the plant because in the leaves only the cooking happens. The food is made by the plant in the leaves. So what is this cooking happening? What do they make? What do they cook? Sorry? Food. What food? Food is what we eat. So what is the food that they make called as? Is it called pizza? Is it called burger? It should have a name, no? So what is that food's name? Try to find it out or no. I think it's iron. Not iron. Ma'am, is it uh, starch? Starch, excellent. It is starch. Starch is what the plants cook. This is the main source of food for them. This is the food that they make. Okay, starch is nothing but carbohydrate. The starch is only carbohydrates. Then you might ask, then is carbohydrates only present in plants? Why is it not present in animals? It is present in animals also. So how is it present in animals? Can anyone say? How is starch present in animals? No, ma'am. Because this is eaten by the animals. So there is carbohydrates in the animals too because they eat the plants. And for those animals that don't eat the plants, those animals eat the animals that eat the plants. So this is a continuous cycle. So somehow the plant is the primary producer. Some way or the other, the plant is the start of the whole food cycle. So carbohydrates are present mostly as starch. They provide us with energy. And that is why Carbohydrates are called as energy giving plants. Mom? Sorry, sorry, energy giving nutrients. Mom? Yes, sir. So, like uh, all the herbivores uh, uh, usually have starch in them, carbohydrate in them. Yes. Definitely, they are very rich in starch, actually. Okay. So, carbohydrates are called energy-giving food or energy-giving nutrients, okay, because they provide us with energy, 
Okay, example, you have wheat, you have potato, you have rice, some of the herbivores. So all these are good sources of carbohydrates. Before we go to the rest of the nutrients, let's find a way of how you will know that the food that you eat has carbohydrates or not. This is an experiment or a method to test the presence of carbohydrates. So I'm just going to take potato for example. Okay. So I'm going to take potato. The potato is the food component over here. Okay. To it, I'm adding some drops of iodine. Okay. So few drops of iodine I'm adding. So if the food component turns into bluish black color, that means carbohydrate or starch is present. Okay. Carbohydrate is nothing but it is a mixture of starch plus sugar. Okay, so you're adding few drops of iodine to carbohydrate or any food component. And if it is turning into a bluish black color, it means carbohydrate is present. This is a very important part of the uh, quiz that I might ask tomorrow. So I can ask you drops of what or I can ask you what color it changes into. Or I will ask you if the food component turns into bluish black color after adding of iodine, then what is the nutrient present in the food? You should be able to tell me that it is carbohydrate. Am I clear? Yes. Any doubts? No, ma'am. Okay. Next, let's go to protein. Okay. So proteins are nutrients that what they do is they build every single part and the organ of the body. Now you have what you say when you're, you're able to freely breathe, okay, your, your lungs are healthy or your heart is beating enough amount of uh, blood supply to the rest of your body or you're able to move your muscles freely. You don't have any backbone. You're a very healthy human being. It means your whole body is built up healthily. There is proper building of each and every organ of your body. This building is because you have enough supply of proteins in your body. Hence, proteins are called as body building nutrients or body building foods. Because they are needed to build every single part and organ of your body. They, if you are falling down, okay, you are bleeding. Now, after few, one or two weeks, that mark is not even there that you are falling down. How is it? It's because there is a repairing of tissue. Again, your body is building, rebuilding to how your body was before. Okay, yeah. again, the tissues, one minute. Again, the tissues cover up. Again, the skin cover up. This building is because of the inner presence of proteins in your body. Hence, proteins are called as body building nutrients. Please make note of everything. I won't give you time and all to note it. Okay, I already told you all earlier. This is a revision class. So when I'm teaching you all, please make notes rapidly. So bodybuilding foods. So I'll again ask you, what is the food that helps you to repair the tissue once you have fallen down? Then you should be able to write that it is protein. Okay. Yeah, tell me Advika. Advika, you had a doubt? As I got hurt and then uh, there was a thick layer which was brown. When I peeled it out, a little amount of blood came and afterwards I washed it and a skin layer came now. Okay, that layer of blood, sorry, that layer, that thin layer of brown layer which you try to remove, that is not skin. Okay, that is actually blood. We'll come to that part later on. Okay. Okay, now uh, this is proteins. Now again, how will you know that the food that you consume has protein or not? Okay, so for that, I'm taking any food substance. Okay, I'm adding 10 drops of water. Please remember how many drops of what substance or what liquid you're supposed to add because I'll definitely ask this in the test. 10 drops of water because uh, last time so many of you all took 
uh, you know you all made mistakes in the number of drops so please listen and study carefully 10 drops of water two drops of copper sulfate solution a solution called copper sulfate solution okay and you're adding 10 drops of caustic soda okay it is more like you know how soda works right when you add soda and water there is a bubble hushing up so similarly this is one of the type of soda powder that is caustic soda okay so what are you adding you're taking the paste of any food substance so basically you're crushing the food substance you're adding 10 drops of water to it two drops of copper sulfate solution 10 drops of again caustic soda and once you add all this if the food substance turns into violet color that means there is protein present in it okay so if it turns into violet color it means protein is there okay i hope it is clear all right uh please make note of it though i'm just giving you two minutes i'll uh, because the steps are a little bit more for those who have already not taken the notes for those please make note of it i'll continue by 6 48 so you have two minutes time to really make note of it when will you conduct the quiz no there's no quiz today tomorrow you will be having your sunday test Mom, yes, sir. Mom, once I was plucking flowers, uh, mm -hmm. that time I noticed that something in white color was coming out, it was really liquidy. Okay, so you're asking what it is. Okay, we'll come to that. We'll come to that. now you have like what you have certain amount of fluids in your body right like obviously you have uh white blood cells you have red blood cells right so similarly it's one of a liquid substance that is present in the plant okay that a liquid it's called as latex okay can we say that as a that the plant's blood no we can't see it as a blood now uh, you just take for example you're taking um any plant you're gonna just squeeze it Okay, you're taking any flower, for example, that doesn't have latex in it. Even the flower stem, when you crush it in your hand, you know that some liquid is coming out, right? It will it will be sticky, right? If you're crushing a flower's petal. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so any flower plant or anything that is living, when you actually crush it, there is an amount of fluid in it. It's just the water that is in it and it's differentiated into different liquids. So the milk, milky substance or the white substance that you see, it's called latex. Everyone okay. used to say that that's uh, milk, that's milk, don't touch it. No, that's not milk. It's just, it looks like milk, but it's called latex. Mom, in my grandfather's house, there is a latex plant and then it never grows. It's like around 4.5 feet. But it never grows more than it. I don't know about that plant. No, it's like uh, when we were small, we used to cut many parts of it and we'll take it and we'll keep it in our hands. Okay. And also, uh, Deepika, there are different types of latexes. Okay. Because the... Uh, latex that you see in a small uh, stem it's just a very small quantity that's like 0.1 percent but in uh, kerala and many other hill stations there are big big trees that uh, almost secrete bowl a bowl of uh, latex that much amount of latex that they secrete so there are uh, you might have noticed if you can you know when you when you go to visit any hill station you must have... yes da Take 
yeah what is your question i don't understand ma'am i don't have any doubts ma'am no 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 just this is what you do if you have any doubt please ask me tell me what is it that you asked ma'am i have a doubt one minute tarakeshwaran yes ma'am what is that you came to ask to me now that deepika is and you are talking about that latex ma'am yeah ma'am i think from that only the humans will take rubber yeah you are right from that only they take rubber how what do you learn what does the ma'am what yeah. does the latex exactly do in a plant yeah let me come to that so these uh, when you go to these hill stations there is like big big uh, bowls or buckets that is attached to these uh, latex producing trees okay so some of these lattices different different uh, lattices they have different different textures some are very thick some are very thin okay so these are natural latex with that has no chemical in it okay so they are the um, uh, thick ones are used for actually making rubber when you run them in hot machines when you start mixing them vigorously with a lot of force they become strong okay they become rubber so with so rubber is actually made from them you must have noticed or uh, you must have studied in school like school in uh, earlier grades and all that you get rubber and all the stationary products from plants so how are you getting this rubber so how is this rubber made it's from the latex okay for the one that has a thinner texture they are used for uh, beauty products in many uh, beauty products in you know, you know makeup removals and um, body lotions in many of them latexes are used mama have a doubt yeah da uh mam on my nail there is a mark the white mark which is dark it is white dark in color okay what it's color is it color it's kind of like the darker color of the nail color okay so it's basically dark white line is it no it's actually pretty dark uh pretty dark is it peach is it black uh I don't know what color it is, but it's darker than my nail color. Okay. So I wanted to ask: Is that blood or uh, what is? It? If it is almost like purplish color or black or a reddish uh, maroon, if it is those tones, then it's pretty much it's blood. If you're having any pain when you're pressing it, then it's pretty much blood. But if it is a white line or white tone or something, then you have iodine deficiency. but if it's any other color apart from it i can only uh, tell it to you if you if i actually have a look at it if you want me to send me an image or something then you can just like send it to me so i can know how it looks like better okay ma'am white line on nail detects we have iodine deficiency yes i have too much of white lines on my nails which means you have iodine deficiency Man, uh, the white lines like in the middle of our nails or in the starting of our nails. It can be anywhere on your nail. It means you have iron deficiency. Man, um, but I have little bit. Yeah, everybody has a little bit of iron deficiency. Even I have. Anyways, I have uh, I... both the hand palms. Okay, let's come back to the lesson. We are a little bit more dragged away from the lesson. Now I hope all of you are done noting this. All of you are done. Can we go to the next part? Ma'am, I got a doubt. Yes. Ma'am, is kwashu occur uh, caused by the uh, deficiency or if it is more? It is caused by deficiency. I didn't come to that part yet, so let's wait. Okay. Anyways, so after we're done with proteins, let's go with fats. Okay, so we now we know how to test the presence of carbohydrates and the presence of proteins. Now fats. 
these fats are similar to carbohydrates okay so what is the function of the carbohydrate uh, tarakeshwar what does carbohydrate do and it will give us energy very good it will give you energy okay similarly the fats will also provide you with energy okay so they are needed in about moderate amount in your body so fats is something that is reserved in your body so you know that when someone goes out or you see some fat someone fat you tell them they are fat why because their body has fat stored in them okay carbohydrates is not stored but fats are stored it stores up in the skin of the animals they are present in oil ghee butter so all these are sources of fats okay so they are also provide with energy that is why energy giving foods if i ask you you should write both fats and carbohydrates they both are energy giving foods okay now how to test the presence of fats so you just take any food substance you crush them you take a piece of paper you place the crushed food in the paper you crush the paper more now and now you remove the food particle you will notice that there are some oil patches in the paper this oil patch is nothing but fat it shows the presence of fat okay, it is simple ma'am once i once i check ma'am once i check this uh, is there fats in uh, rice that there the fat is in rice yeah you will notice the oil patches will come on the paper that means fat is there when you eat in food also if you spill anything on your paper when you try to erase the food particle you will notice that there will be oil patch on your paper that shows that fat is there okay fine uh, please make note of it those who didn't make note of it please make note so you know now you know that the proteins help you to grow and repair the tissues that is why they are called as body building food so what is the proteins do they grow and repair tissue in our body okay make note of all this okay now carbohydrates and fats you know carbohydrates has starch which is nothing but a mixture of starch and sugar so starch and sugar is called as carbohydrates or glucose okay carbohydrates has glucose in it you know when you feel exhausted when um, those who are sick and restless you normally take glucose to visit them you take glucose powder so this glucose powder is rich in carbohydrates which provides you with energy fats again it gives you energy to work so now if you ask me which has more um, providence of energy is it carbohydrates or fats if they ask you if i ask you that question you should tell me that it's fats fats provide more energy than carbohydrates okay so the other minerals that i sorry other uh, nutrients that i told you is vitamins and minerals that's what is left because we already discussed about the three of them now vitamins and minerals so minerals are substances that is present in your body that provides you with strong bones it strengthens your bones okay your vitamins now coming to vitamins you must have noticed people tell when you go out you will get vitamin d from the sun apart from that there are many other vitamins that you consume as vitamin a b c d you have till k you have a b c d e and you have k okay you don't have f g h and all now yeah Mom, why don't they include F G? But you should ask the scientist only, Advika. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay, so A B C D E and K are the types of vitamins that is present or discovered for now. Okay, so these vitamins, their function is they help in blood flow. so you have a healthy blood flow now coming to the part where you asked me advika there is a brown layer that is being formed once you have fallen down this brown layer is blood okay this blood is coming because of vitamins in your body okay 
so there's a lot of blood that is going outside your body so to stop this the blood starts clotting and it forms a layer that blood clotting it is done by vitamins okay the vitamins also provide our body with immunity okay this is a very very important question now let's talk about what immunity is now um deepika tell me which provides you with more energy carbohydrates or fats um it's fats ma'am it's fats now you are able to answer this question because i taught you because i already taught you this if i didn't teach you this then you probably would not be able to answer my question this is how immunity works now let me elaborate in more detail so once you get um chicken pox you're getting chicken pox you don't have any now this chicken pox you're getting once you must have noticed that you must have got chicken pox on your baby but you'll never get it again why because your body has already dealt with it now you know your body knows how to fight chicken pox so first time chicken pox comes inside your body the bacteria your body will be wondering how do i fight this this is something completely new to me okay that is why you get fever that is why you get uh, sick and everything but now again the next time chicken pox tries to attack you your body sees a similar uh, bacteria it will say obviously i have dealt with you earlier now i know how to fight you and it will kill the bacteria so the ability of your body to fight a similar disease or disorder is called as immunity and this immunity is improved in your body if you have a lot of vitamin consumption am i clear did you all understand what i told you all yes ma'am okay fine please make note of it till vitamins this and all no need till vitamins this part alone the rest of the lesson we will learn it uh, on uh, monday so till vitamins i'll ask you for the test till vitamins i'll ask in the test okay please make note of it quickly guys tell me when you're done once you're done you can leave the class so no homework for today just prepare for tomorrow's test okay ma'am bye ma'am bye
താരകേശ്വരൻ താരകേശ്വരൻ അമ്മ ഓഡിബിൾ ടു യു യാ ഓക്കെ 